Payne Recreation Center, we have um, 90 hours of operating hours, and the restroom facilities are used through all different functions. We're going to tear out all the flooring, put in a, a um, urethane seamless flooring system in. We're going to gut the showers. We're gutting this whole, the whole entire locker rooms. And then we move into the restrooms upstairs, which will be phase two. And that'll follow immediately after these two locker rooms are complete. During the, the shutdown for, for these, these two restroom and locker rooms and showers, uh, there will be no, no public showering facility on this property. We have to close both you know, to do this renovation. It's going to be very, very nice. We're going to have new petitions, new sinks, all completely new showers. We're going to be shut down from September the 4th all the way through the end of October. Depending on how work goes and anyone that does their own bathroom renovations, sometimes the, it may take a little longer, it may take a little less, but the sooner I get them open, the better. We're renovating the restrooms at the Civic Center, our uh, Gerhardt Civic Center. Uh, we're going to be putting in the same type of flooring systems. However, at the Civic Center, we're going to be doing the same flooring systems, sinks, fixtures. All of the fixtures are being replaced at the Civic Center because currently they are a, a high volume flush uh, systems. I'm putting in water energy devices and fixtures uh, to reduce the consumption of water. At our municipal building, we're doing Similar to the same thing, we're re replacing all of the uh, fixtures because they're high flow uh, fixtures and use a lot of water. Um, these will, will come in line with current, current times, you know, conservation.